Today we're working with our friends at the Tracker Boating Center in beautiful Shakopee, Minnesota. Hey folks, Rob again with Two Guys in a Ride, and I'm out at the Tracker Boat Center in Shakopee, Minnesota, and I'm with Matt. And Matt, why don't you tell us about the boat we're standing in front of right now? Tell us a little bit about you, uh, the dealership, and about Tracker as well. Yeah, Rob, I appreciate you coming here today. Um, I'm the general manager here at the Tracker Boating Center in Shakopee, and this is a 2020 Targa 19 Tracker Combo. Um, certainly a boat that will be familiar to many of your viewers. The Targa line has been one of our most popular lines for years, um, but I, I think they made enough significant uh, changes to this boat for 2020 that the viewers will be interested in, in seeing what's all new because it is a lot and a lot of exciting things. Um, but before we talk about all the changes, I want to take just a minute to talk about the one thing that's often overlooked until you're stuck on the side of the road with the prom, and that's the trailer. Uh, Tracker's in a unique position that we actually can build our own trailer. So most manufacturers are having to buy a trailer for someone else. We build them in-house, and it gives us a lot of flexibility to do some unique items. For one, this is an entirely galvanized trailer. Now, I'm sure people think, how is that possible? Because it doesn't look galvanized, um, but it is underneath the paint, and then we put this texture coat paint on over the top. So that just helps mean your trailer's gonna last a little longer with less of the, the rust and the corrosion that we experience up here on our, our salty roads. Um, the trailer standard with brakes. Um, it's standard with a swing away ton that'll help you get it into the garage a little bit easier. And this is unique. It actually has a step so you can go easily in the front of the boat um, from the ton to here, up to here, and in. Um, with this nice handle, I think that makes it uh, a unique trailer feature. Um, you notice the spare tire there. That's standard on this trailer, as is tandem axle and all LED lights. So number one problem people have with trailers is lights, and we found that by switching to LEDs, they've just become much more reliable as you're going in and out of the lake. Um, but enough about the trailer, as exciting as that may be, let's talk a little bit more of the boat, which is what most people are here to see. 200 horsepower motor, um, certainly plenty of power to push this boat. You're gonna, you're gonna find that for skiing or fishing big water, you're not gonna feel underpowered by any means. Um, certainly this boat would perform fine with a 150, but the majority of them out there are gonna be sold with a 200. Knowing that we can put that bigger horsepower on, Tracker's elected to do a few features standard. One is the stainless steel prop. Um, with that much power, you're just going to get better performance out of a stainless prop versus aluminum. And the other is hydraulic steering. Um, so we, we could do cable steering in it, but it's just safer and a better overall feel by putting hydraulic steering on this boat. Um, you'll also notice on the back that we do have a full ladder since it's a fish ski combo. We felt it was important to offer a little swim platform and then some sort of ladder to allow people to get in the water either out of the tube or if they've been swimming or worst case if they happen to fall in just while out fishing. Um, coming to this side if you get down low you'll see there's some unique things it's not just another aluminum hull and the main thing is this is actually a stepped hull so the bottom of the boat and this step here is more uh, like a fiberglass boat on seven aluminum boat. And one of the things that allows us to do is it gives us built-in setback with that motor. It's a big boat, it's a deep boat, and it's a heavy boat. And so the setback allows us to get this boat to lift and run through the water a little bit nicer and cleaner than if we had just done a traditional hull on the back. Um, speaking of hull, because we know people are going to be running these boats hard, it's actually a thicker aluminum than most people are used to. So industry standards kind of always been uh, 0.08 on the bottom and 0.063 on the side. Tracker was building this boat a tenth of an inch thick aluminum all around, side 
and bottom. And this year for 2020, they actually bumped it up even more. It's eighth of an inch thick aluminum. Um, so the entire hull, along with all aluminum transom here, that's lifetime warranty. And we, we just felt that it was important to people to know that they didn't have any concerns with the, the boat, no matter how long they wanted to keep it. Um, so let's jump inside and see what's new on the inside. Okay, on the inside of this boat, um, let's talk about the play features first, the, the ski features. Um, number one, there's a ski pylon that's standard with this boat. And because we know we were building this boat for a ski pylon, it's not a tripod style pylon. All the structure is built into the bottom of the boat. So it's just a real easy solid aluminum pylon and it's removable simply by twisting it and it'll store away in one of the compartments. Um, you also have some additional seating back here, which is important if you're gonna go out with a full crew. And that really opens up the floor of this boat having the extra jump seat. So this is one of the things that changed. Last year, if you remember, this boat had a full bench that came all the way up and down. Um, and a lot of customers liked it, but they felt it was a little more cumbersome than these lighter weight easy benches. So the only thing we sacrificed with doing this is we don't have quite as big of a casting platform, um, but a lot of customers felt it was such a big step up, it was more important to them to have extra storage and that easy transition up. And you'll find there's still just a ton of room to stand back here and fish, especially since we cover up this uh, splash well in the back with even a little additional standing platform here. So we're really not sacrificing much by that, but we're gaining, and this is another new feature then, some additional storage down in there, either for tackle or, or whatever you want to put in there, as well as a couple of cup holders, which is kind of nice for the passengers back here. Um, speaking of storage, we changed the live well on this boat a little bit. So last year, this was a full live well that extended all the way across the boat. And while that was nice, it was bigger than most people wanted. So now the live well goes right to the center of the boat and still has all the nice features you were used to, which is a spot for a bait, built-in bait well, a recirculating pump, and a pump out. So at the end of the day, you don't have to reach down to the bottom of the live well and get your, your whole arm wet. You can flip a switch and pump all the water out of the live well. By shrinking that, we freed up some new storage on the other side of the boat. And what you'll see is we have a giant storage tub um, that's actually made to fit the plain old 3700 tackle trays people are accustomed to. But really it's just dry storage. It's a, a built-in tub with a nice lip and drain channel so you can put anything in there you want. Life jackets, ropes, anchors, um, or tackle as we've recommended. Um, you probably notice there's a couple more storage spots in the back. Um, this one has always been the battery storage and continues to be the battery storage down in there, but the other side changed again. So we're used to having the trolling motor batteries back on this corner, and it's actually become a storage container. So what we decided is to create more storage and to create better performance, we'd move the batteries down into the bottom of the boat beneath the floor. Um, we found that by putting the fuel tank and the big 24 volt trolling motor battery system down low, it makes the boat a little bit more stable. It just feels more comfortable when you're riding and when you're sitting there fishing. Um, not to mention we got that extra storage space there. You still have some storage down here. Um, it could fit fishing rods in there, but this boat has so much rod storage, I don't think most of our customers are gonna use it that way. Uh, this is really a unique feature that's made the Targa so popular. There is built-in rod storage in the gunnel um, that holds three uh, separate rod tubes, and these are the easy ones to get at, right? You don't have to dig down in something that's low. The rods you're using all the time are right there. They're easy, easy to put away, not likely to get broken. So that storage exists on both sides of this boat. Um, so that covers six rods but you still have that nice big center rod storage that you've been accustomed to. Um, so you have another spot for eight additional rods there. Um, 14 rods in a boat like this is really industry leading. And honestly, you could double up some rods in some of those spots with rod socks if you felt you needed additional storage. Um, you notice this little trap door down here? That's just an access to the front of that compartment for us. Um, so the batteries are actually contained underneath here, but it allows us one more way to get at them if we need to. And that's the compartment that I'm standing on here. 
again, we tried to think through how customers are going to use it. So we put this false bottom box in here. So you do have some quick storage there. But if you remove it, you can see the deeper storage where we're likely to put batteries or maybe some things you wouldn't use as often, but you still want to have with in the boat. You know, there's plenty of room down in the bottom there beneath this main storage tray. So let's take a minute to look at the dash. Um, I think this is a huge improvement for Tracker. It's a new color. It's it's darker and a, a little more attractive in my opinion. But the main thing is it's been reconfigured. And here's kind of the way the industry is going is more of this pod style dash. We've moved it off to the side where it's more visible, while at the same time opening up a bigger area to mount electronics. Um, more and more customers are willing to spend money on nice electronics, and so we wanted to have room where we could put two fish finders here if possible. And we really stole this from our tournament series boats. We knew how much customers loved it there, so we brought it into the, the family boat as well. And it does come standard with a seven inch Lowrance hook too. Um, this is a color fish finder with GPS, with 2D down imaging and side imaging uh, transducer on it. So really you're not getting just an entry level trans, uh, fish finder, you're getting a, a fully functional GPS fishing unit. You probably noticed we still have the Bluetooth stereo that um, we've become familiar with here. It seems like the, the world's going more and more wireless and, and that's really been um, widely accepted by most of our customers. And then the steering wheel is tilt steering standard. The seat still slides back and forth and adjusts up and down. In fact, all the seats are on a hydraulic adjustable pedestal. So you should be able to make this comfortable to drive for, for multiple different people. Um, speaking of comfortable to drive, if you look at me, you'll see that I'm actually seated a little deeper in this boat than a lot. So one complaint that we had from a lot of customers is they don't like looking through the top of the windshield because customers are torn between above and below. We were able to sit this seat just a little bit lower without having to go to a giant windshield. In fact, we actually shrunk this windshield so it's easier to fish out of. Um, in the past, that windshield maybe got in your way a little bit too much. We are able to shrink the windshield, but still be at a point where I can look through the windshield, if that makes sense to you. Um, before we go to the bow, a couple last things. We, we couldn't resist the spot to find additional storage, so we put a, a nice little cup holder in here. And in the dead space of the past, down by our feet, we added some kick storage there too. Um, any spot we could find storage in this boat, we did, including this bigger glove box right here. And of course, that's locking as is most of the storage in this boat. Pretty cavernous. Yeah. Um, up in the bow, you'll see that this boat does come standard, it's not an option, with some of the cushions. So the thought with this being a fish ski combo, sometimes you may use this boat just like an open bow boat. You'd put the seats back there. And it's a pretty comfortable place for people to relax and lay out. Um, the seat cushions do snap out. There's unfortunately not a great place to, to put them in the boat, but we find most of our customers will either take them with for the day if they're just going to go cruising, or we'll leave them in the truck if they're not going to use them for the day. Again, you're noticing a trend in this boat. Um, so obvious, very large storage up in the bow, and I'm kneeling on the secondary storage underneath here. A little smaller, but a great place to put that foot pedal for the trolling motor. Again, 24 volt trolling motor, and that's standard on this boat. Um, really everything we've seen so far is a standard feature. None of these things are add-ons. Um, they all come with the, the base boat. You maybe wouldn't have seen this, but more storage, right? So a fish and ski boat, one of the challenges customers task us with is, how do we have all the stuff in one boat for fishing and for skiing without tripping over ourselves and tripping over our stuff? So any place we could find it, we added that storage. And because it is a fishing boat, we didn't want to have just one live well. Um, we find a lot of people will like a second live well in this boat. And so there it is. And again, fully featured live well with a pump out, with a recirculate, just like the rear one and some additional storage on the on the front. Um, 
This Minn Kota is a 70 pound thrust power drive. So that's a 24 volt system, um, two batteries. So the boat will have three batteries in its standard, right? The starting battery and the two trolling motor batteries. Um, and a lot of customers found it was inconvenient charging a dual battery system as much as it was convenient using it. So we just added an onboard charger. And rather than make it tough to get to, if you look right over here, there's actually a quick plug. With the thought being a customer could just reach over the side of their boat, plug it in, and it'll automatically take care of charging the, the trolling motor batteries. So I think they've made uh, a lot of good changes to this boat, certainly. It, it's sometimes a little scary changing one of our top sellers, but we're just absolutely thrilled with the new things we have to offer with this boat. Okay, so that's a nice review of this awesome boat. This is the Tracker Targa uh, 19. 19 combo. 19 combo. And I uh, just wanted to say one thing else, too, about uh, as we see it here and what some of the other things you can do with this boat. Yeah, I think we've talked about how, how well this boat's fully featured, um, but we understand fishermen like to customize things, and there's a whole host of other features you can put on this boat. So whether it's a, a sun top, um, a second fish finder, uh, a storage travel cover, you can find all those things on our website. If you go to trackerboats.com, they have a wonderful build-a-boat feature, um, and that's a price configurator, right? right? So trackers one price across the nation, other than freight, so you'll actually be able to build the boat from your living room and know exactly what price you're going to pay when you walk into a dealership. It's pretty cool. Can't beat that, folks. And I got to tell you, as it as it says, as you said, it's a it's a heck of an equation, a value equation. But being able that you can customize it for what you need, where you fish. You know, we're in Minnesota, so we have certain things we want. But if you're down south and you want to go to different areas, you can certainly customize it with add-ons that you're going to want there. So again, Matt, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Thank you for sharing this awesome boat with us. And uh, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.